Hey YouTube, it's Justin answering your questions from the comments on joincfe.com slash knock. If you have questions, check out that page, ask it and upvote other ones. Now, the question today is from Alexander, Alexander M. You're asking what are the best practices for AngularJS and Django? Now, them together would actually take a look at more of them separately because the way they work together would be the same as any front end and back end would be working. Where Django is the back end, Angular is the front end. So with Django, you want to follow the standard best practices for Django, which are a little bit more in depth of what we would be doing here, or at least talking about here. But the main thing here is you want to build a RESTful API service and make it as simple as possible while following CRUD. That is create, retrieve, update, delete. That concept itself is how you want to build your API as much as you possibly can for every sort of data layer that you're going to be working with with your API. So Django and Django REST framework are really what you're going to want to build for your backend. So it, that is a really good idea. And then also being dry. So that is not repeating yourself within the code too much or as little as you possibly can to execute the same sort of things. Now, of course, there's a lot more best practices that go into Django itself to make that work really well. But of course, having solid authentication systems are another thing that you're going to want to do if you plan on having your users manipulating their data in any form. That's a big thing as well. And authentication, you want to be as secure as you possibly can be as well. Um, that is like not passing your credentials through an unsecure site. That's another example of that. Now, as far as Angular is concerned, once you have an API built in, a RESTful API, once you have that built in, whether it's with Django or not, Angular is gonna wanna work with that RESTful API because it has built in what's called ng resource that will allow you to map directly to your API, which makes it a lot easier to work with, a lot more powerful, and a much better practice so then any other Django developer or Angular developer could see the code that's that's kind of relating back and forth to each other. So really you're going to want to build a RESTful API service using Django or really any other backend framework. Uh, but in this case, you would use it with Django using the Django REST framework, and that would integrate with your Angular JS um, code that is all going to kind of exist on the front end. They aren't, um, they aren't reliant on each other, but they would be able to work with each other with no problems whatsoever. They are very, very symbiotic, especially if you're using the Django REST framework. Thanks for the question and we'll see you in the next one.